Hi, this is Andrew with Harvest Right. Today we're going to show you how to perform a dry chamber test on your freeze dryer. This test is used in diagnosis to know if our pump, our oil, our vacuum hose, our gasket, our drain hose are all functioning properly. To make sure we've got fresh oil, we've got the oil filled to the proper level, our vacuum hose is tight on both ends, our drain valve is closed all the way and our door gasket is clean. To start this dry chamber test, we're going to remove the drain hose from the bucket. We're going to close the drain hose by turning it perpendicular with the hose, making sure we turn it as tight as we can get it. We're next going to move to the front of the freeze dryer, remove the door pad if it's in place. We're going to take the trays out, set them off to the side, Remove the door gasket. Remove the shelving unit. That's what the food trays slide onto. On the back of the shelving unit, if there's a thumb ring, a textured ring we should be able to loosen with our fingers and move the shelving unit off to the side, unattached from the freeze dryer. We then want to reinstall the door gasket. Close the door. Turn the handle to the right as far as we can get it. We should be able to check the vacuum hose attached to the freeze dryer, ensuring that we can't get any more movement out of the nut on the end of the hose. Then we'll move to the vacuum pump. Using a holdback wrench so we don't overspin the intake port, we're going to hold the intake port and tighten the hose which is attached to the intake port. Once those have both been tightened properly and we can't get them any more tight, we can now move on to the dry chamber test. We're going to hit the start button. The machine will remind us to close the drain valve on the left-hand side of the machine. We're going to hit continue. Once we've hit continue, we will move into the freezing process. By hitting the clock in the top right corner, we can skip the freezing process and move on to the drying process, and the vacuum pump will then turn on. We want to wait approximately five to 10 seconds if we have a good seal on the door of our freeze dryer, we should not be able to unlatch and open it. If we can unlatch and open the door to the freeze dryer, we do not have a good seal on the door and we need to turn the vacuum pump off and figure out where our vacuum leak is coming from. Another way to see if the door has a proper seal is to look through the door at the seal, where the door and the seal have contact or are smashing up against each other we will see a line, a dark line or a color change in the gasket. Our screen will say greater than 999 MT. We are going to wait approximately 30 minutes, sometimes less, for the pressure to drop to three to 400 millitor. If we can successfully pull the vacuum to three or 400 millitor, we know that our vacuum hose is tight on both ends. Our vacuum pump has the proper amount of oil and the quality of the oil is good enough to run a batch of food. We also know the drain hose on the left-hand side of the freeze dryer is closed properly.